Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. We're gonna make an awesome, simple recipe today, um, and it's not gonna have any preservative, it's not gonna be canned, uh, it's just gonna be phenomenal. We're gonna make a simple, okay, keyword, simple uh, roasted red pepper hummus, okay? So hummus is super awesomely smooth and creamy. It's got this nutty flavor. It tastes good. You can make it a hundred different ways. Uh, you can you can make it on as a on a wrap. You can just use it as an appetizer. And I've seen some awesome awesome videos on YouTube. Uh, but I want to bring something because I don't see a lot of people, with the exception of one person, Heather at uh, Healthy uh, Vegan. What we're gonna first do is we're gonna fill up our pot. Um, with about, I don't know, gallon, half gallon of water. We're gonna put about uh, four cups of uh, dried uh, garbanzo beans in there. They run probably about $1.99 a pound um, at Sunflower right now. So we're gonna put four of them, we're gonna soak them overnight or before we go to work and then we're gonna come home. We're gonna boil it uh, at medium high for uh, about 40 minutes at most. Um, and there, you'll, you'll, you'll see it, you can actually take one out um, and, and blow, of course you don't wanna just pop it in your mouth after it's been boiling, so blow it off a little bit and then you, you can actually chew it and to taste where your texture should be if it's soft as um, what. But using a dry garbanzo bean is gonna give you the creamiest uh, hummus that you'll ever, ever like sample. It's even smoother um, in the Vitamix than I've had uh, at Garbanzo, I think it's Mediterranean Grill, or even the store-bought stuff in Sunflower. I really, really, really enjoy this recipe, and I hope you like it. We have some great ingredients right here. Oh yeah, look at all that glorious stuff. Um, now I'm gonna tell you what the measurements are once we get to that point, but I just wanna give you an, ex an idea of what exactly is going in our uh, Okay, so now that we got a shot of our ingredients, uh, let's go ahead and get everything in the Vitamix. Now the Vitamix, you don't have to put things in separately and, and get everything all blended up. You just stick it all in there and dude, you let the thing go to town. So what we got here is four cups of garbanzo beans. Now I'm going to make two batches. I'm only going to film one, so I'm going to use half of this. Now this is uh, two cups, essentially, that we're going to be using of garbanzo beans. We've got two cups of water. Again, I'm gonna probably use half of this. I've got some roasted red peppers. I've got uh, some lemon juice. Um, okay, you're asking how, how, how much. I've got three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. I may or may not use it all, we'll taste it. I've got some, uh, I've got a, a teaspoon of paprika. I've got some uh, amazing garlic pressed. Um, and this is uh, about two tablespoons. Um, which is, uh, I think it was like four, uh, it was four uh, gar cloves of garlic. I've got two t uh, teaspoons of cumin. I've got two teaspoons of salt. Um, again, I said lemon juice. I've got some tahini paste, and this is about a half of a cup. And then I've got the water, okay, uh, from the boiling point. Now, now when you first initially boil, if you boil, uh, or I'm sorry, not boil, if you uh, first initially soak your garbanzo beans overnight, uh, when you get up in the morning, change the water out if you end up soaking it longer than eight hours. Um, what that does is it makes sure that you don't get any um, bacteria and stuff starting to grow. I know it's only eight hours, but I'm super paranoid about that. And then we have some EVOO. So let's go ahead and put about two cups of our garbanzo beans in. And the cool thing about the Vitamix is the awesome little uh, markers on the actual carafe that actually say where your levels are. So there's no like, you can pre-measure and that's great. I've kind of pre-measured just for the convenience of this video. Um, but in this case, um, sometimes you just wanna flip stuff and throw it in there really fast. So I'm gonna put half of this water in, which would be one cup and I'm thinking if it's one cup uh, to every two cups of water, um, that seems like a pretty good portion. If it ends up being a half a cup, the cool part is that we still have more okay, of these um, garbanzo beans. So next I'm gonna put some red, roasted red peppers in. Now I've got two roasted red peppers, so I'm just gonna dump those in, okay. 
I'm gonna put my garlic in because that's super important. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do any cuts in this video. I realize that, you know what? If you were making this, how long would it take? Paprika, cumin, we got some salt, uh, we have some lemon juice. Now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna probably put half of, half, just a little over half of what I actually measured out. Um, and then I'm gonna put some tahini paste. And to get the tahini paste, because it's so thick, just go ahead and just use a, there we go. And we'll end up just using this spatula to uh, get all of our beautiful hummus in a nice little serving dish. So we'll just set this uh, aside. And then uh, the secret ingredient, habanero. Half of a habanero, uh, de-seeded. Boom, okay. That's gonna give a little spice. That's gonna kip, kick it up a notch. I'm uh, sorry, Emerald, I took your thing. It's gonna actually uh, increase your metabolism a little. And then we're gonna probably put, I don't know, I would say a good half. That is way too much. Do not put a half a cup in there. Uh, put, um, I'm probably gonna put about three tablespoons of EVOO in. Um, I love EVOO. I love saying EVOO. So there we go. There's about three tablespoons. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this lid on secure. We like this secure because we don't want it flying all over the place. And then uh, we're gonna put our tamper in. Um, and then all we do is we simply flip the on switch, go to 10, and then flip to the high. And we're going to do it pretty fast. Um, not going to go vomp right up to 10. I'm just going to take my time and get up to 10. Here we go. Ready? That's it. Now it's really creamy. Um, I've realized that um, that was probably too much liquid. The cool thing is, is I've got more garbanzos. Um, so here we go. We're gonna just dump these guys in, get these guys in, and that actually should be about the right amount. So go up to 10. So now, your Vitamix is gonna make a grinding sound. Not like gears grinding, but it's gonna make the sound as if, if I mean, it's gonna make a sound you've never heard before. You may think, if, if you're a first time user, that this thing's just gonna blow up. And that is fine. That means the Vitamix is working. Um, as a matter of fact, the cool thing about this machine is, is the Vitamix actually has a, uh, I believe a temperature shut off. So if this is doing too much work, it's gonna shut itself off. And it takes, I think the, the manual said something like 15 or 30 minutes to reset, something about that. Um, but the cool thing is, is uh, it's, we know it's doing its job. Okay, so here we go. We've got our hummus. And you wanna see how thick this is and creamy? Look, look at this. I can shake it, baby, shake it, shake it. Okay, so a little bit came out. So you're looking at this right now and you're going, oh my gosh, look at how smooth that looks. No, 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 you have no idea. Look at how smooth that is. So that's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed this simple uh, way to make hummus and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.